comedy of man starts like this our brains are way too big for our mother's hips and so nature she devised this alternative we emerge half formed and hope whoever greets us on the other end is kind enough to fill us in and babies that's pretty much how it's been ever since Now the miracle of birth leaves a few issues to address Like say that half of us are periodically iron deficient So somebody's gotta go kill something While I look after the kids I do it myself, but what? Are you gonna get this? Thing it's milk. He says as soon as he gets back from the hunt, we can switch. It's hard not to fall in love with something so helpless. Ladies, I hope we don't end up regretting this. center of everything and some all-powerful being and doubt this horror show with meaning all oh, their religions are the best they worship themselves yet they're totally obsessed in zombies, celestial virgins, magic tricks, these unbelievable outfits, they get terribly upset when you question their sacred texts, written by a woman hating epileptics. Their language is just serve to confuse them. Their hair confusion somehow makes them more sure. They build fortunes, poisoning their offspring, and hand out prizes when someone patents a cure. Where did they find these goons they elected to rule them? What makes these clowns they idolize so remarkable? These mammals are hell-bent on fashioning new gods So they can go on being godless animals Horizons that just forever recede 
And how's this for irony? Their idea of being free is a prison of beliefs that they never ever have to leave. Oh, comedy. Oh, it's like something that a madman would conceive. The only thing that seems to make them feel alive is the struggle to survive but the only thing that they request is something to numb the pain with until there's nothing human left just random matter suspended in the dark I hate to say it, but each other's all we've got. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.